Hello friends, in this video we are going to see a special feature in MVC Razor that is custom HTML helpers. Now let's see what are HTML helpers first. Now HTML helpers renders a standard HTML tag on view. These helpers are extension methods which return a HTML string. The HTML helpers are not controls, they simply generate HTML markup. Now in short, HTML helpers are used to render HTML controls on the UI. Now MVC or MVC, any MVC application has provided a special feature in which we can create our own custom HTML helpers by creating a static extension methods. So now let's see through the application how we can achieve this. Now I have a simple ASP.NET MVC3 application wherein I have an index.cs HTML. Herein I have used an inbuilt HTML.textbox helper to render a simple text box on the UI. Now on the lines of this html.textbox helper, I'm going to create my own custom HTML helper for textbox to render the textbox control. Now if I go to the definition of this control, I can see this method as extension method to the class HTML helper with a single parameter name and the return type of this method is MVC HTML string, which doesn't need any encoding, which is excluded of encoding. And it, this method is of type static. So now, to create a custom HTML helper, let's create a folder first. So I create a new folder saying custom helpers. So inside this folder, I'm going to create a class saying custom HTML helpers. Now, the first thing is to make this class static and I'm going to create a static having MVC HTML string as the return type. Now to use this class, I'm going to refer system.web.mvc namespace and I'm going to name my helper as custom underscore text box. Now, if this method is static as I'm not going to create any object on the view to access this method. So I make it as static. The return type of this method is MVC HTML string as the MVC HTML string class excluded is excluded from encoding and the HTML is rendered on the UI. Now to make this method as extension, I'm using the syntax this, the name of the class to which you want this method as extension and the object name. And I want this method to have a single parameter that is name. So now method definition is ready. Now let's concentrate on the method body. Now I'm going to use tag builder class to render or to create an input tag as text box is rendered using input type text box. So I'll, I'll create input tag and I'm going to set a few attributes for this text box. Like I'm going to set its type to text. And I'm going to add two more attributes saying ID and name with the parameter I'm accepting in the extension method. So now our basic control is ready. Now the thing that is left is to return the MVC HTML string. So I'm using the class itself and we have a create method which wants string parameter. So I'm going to convert my text box to two string dot to string it has two overloads the second overload we are going to use and we say tag render mode dot self closing as input controls are self closing controls so now our custom helper is ready so i am going to refer this namespace on the view as i'm going to use this helper on the view so 
so now if I say HTML which is the instance which is the property and instance of HTML helper class dot see our extension method is available in the IntelliSense and the name is so I'm saying because this is my text so I am giving name parameter as my text so let's run the application So you can see two text boxes are rendered. The first is using the inbuilt HTML helper. The second is by our control. So this is how you can create a simple custom HTML helper. Now I'm going to have one more parameter. So I'm going to create one overload. To create overload, I'm copying the entire method and I'm increasing the number of parameter. So here I'm going to say string value and I'm going to make common method so I'm calling this method from here passing the helper name and here I don't have any value so I'm passing null so when I'm using when I'm only passing name attribute I'm passing null in the value attribute from here and when I'm using overloaded value so this method will be called and inside this method I'm going to check if string dot is null or empty for value and if it is not empty then I'm going to set value attribute to the parameter value so these so we have two overloads available now so I'm going also going to use the second overload if I use comma here the value so I say custom text box if I run the application So you can see the third text box with the value attribute if you check the HTML in the developer tool you can see value attribute set now the final overload will be of HTML attributes by using which we can set style attributes and many things so I'm going to copy this and paste it again and I'm going to enhance one more parameter saying object HTML attributes and this method will be called from here so I'm going to call some text box from here so I'll be passing all the attributes name comma value so I'll not, I'll not be having HTML attributes here so I'll be passing null in this case so now to also add HTML attributes to the text box I need to refer one more namespace in that is using system.web.routing and here I'm going to check if HTML attributes not equal to null Then I'm going to text box dot merge. This is a merge attributes method which accepts dictionary of key and value. So I say route value dictionary and I'm passing the HTML attributes parameter. So by this way, I'm assigning HTML attributes to the helper. So if I use a third overload of our custom text box helper so I say hello I want my value to be world and the third parameter I am going to set its style saying I want its color to be orange 
and if I run the application to check the changes you can see the third text box with the text having orange color so you can see the HTML as well in the developer tool so this is how you can create your custom HTML helper with multiple overloads and you can enjoy creating your own HTML helpers I hope you enjoy the video so this is all about custom HTML helper thank you friends